The club's been around over a hundred years now and it's taken us a long time to come to these shows but uh, fantastic welcome and hopefully we'll make some history this week for Liverpool when we play in front of what I think will be the biggest crowd that Liverpool football clubs played against or played in front of. Um, so very happy to be here, uh, everybody very excited about the game on Wednesday and we look forward to doing uh, a lot this week while we're here and uh, meeting a lot of our fans and uh, everybody very much uh, pleased to be here. Brendan, uh, welcome to Australia. Thank you, Sean. Uh, are you excited about Wednesday night's match and what can fans expect to see? Very much so and, and just reiterate really what Ian had said, you know, the, the welcome that we got last night at the airport was incredible and just shows you the passion for football out here and as I said, it's it's going to be incredible being in a stadium with so many. That was probably about you know, four or five hundred supporters, so we can imagine near on a hundred thousand in the stadium. So um, now we know it's going to be, you know, a tough game for us. That was the reason for for coming out to here, you know, as part of our preparation for the Barclays Premier League. And uh, as I said, the whole atmosphere and and as I said, we're still in our preparation phase. So uh, so it's a game that we're looking forward to. Can we expect a, a full strength side? Do you see Steven Gerrard and also Luis Suarez playing this match? Yeah, absolutely. It's the, the players aren't quite up to ninety minutes yet. You know, you've seen in the, uh, in the uh, if, if you followed the game in Indonesia, we played a, a team for around about sixty minutes, and then we uh, and then we looked to make changes and that because the players said they, they're only sort of three weeks into their, their preparation. So, um, but but they'll all be involved. They'll all have, have some part to play. In, and like, as I said, it's it's really about our fitness level at this moment in time. Jimmy Ross, I've seen Yeah, uh, apart from the training and the, the match, what else are some of the players going to be doing over here? Um, well, obviously, any pre-season tour, a um, big part of what we try to achieve is to, you know, make sure that obviously we engage with the fans as much as possible. Um, you know, a big part of our presence here is our foundation team, our, our own charity. Um, we'll be working with the Reagan Milstein Foundation. Um, we're also doing some visits to the local hospital. Um, but you know the training session tomorrow night, the open training session, um, we, we've made tickets available for that and charged. But all, all of that money is to go to these you know individual partners that we're working with. And you know this afternoon uh, the players are going off in all sorts of different directions to meet with fans and partners and sponsors. And um, you know it's just a two or three day as much as we can cram in, give as much access as possible um, and do as much good as we can in that period and obviously <coughs> the pinnacle of that being the game itself. Brendan, uh, have you had that chat that we all expected to have with Luis Suarez about staying at Liverpool and if you have, what did you tell him and how did he respond? I haven't had it yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, uh, I say, but we only arrived late last night. He was obviously here earlier, flying in from a different part of the world, but um, but as we've always been as a club, and, and certainly as the manager and the coach, I'm quite relaxed on it. You know, Louis was out here as expected. You know, he's he's an integral part of our squad. Um, we'll chat at some stage, I'm sure, like I do with all the players. So, uh, but he's back. He's in great spirits. You know, he's he's obviously an integral part of the group, and you see his closeness with his teammates last night when they all seen him for the first time in a number of weeks. So, uh, so now he'll. He'll join training today with all the other players, and and over the course of these next few weeks, we'll uh, we'll, we'll communicate. But him and I have been in regular communication throughout the summer, so um, so as I said, it's just something that's ongoing. Uh, what do you know about the Melbourne Victory? I suppose it's the biggest football team in Australia, and uh, do you or the players know much about Melbourne Victory? Yeah, well, I had uh, had a great couple of days with Kevin Muscat a few months back. You know, Kevin came over. To Liverpool, and uh, I remember Kevin as a player when he was in England. And he was a bit more gentle when I seen him a couple of months ago. <laughs> but uh, he's a good guy, and um, listen, the the team itself is, as you say, the biggest club here, and and we understand that you know the infrastructure of the club is very, very good. You know, there's a lot of detail and and sport here in general, in Australia, of course, is as I said, is highly thought of worldwide and. And for me myself, as, as well as the game, I'm actually looking forward to, to meeting new friends and, um, and and some of the performance people involved at Melbourne Victory and 
as I said, and, and hopefully we can take away ideas from them also. I think, <clears throat> first and foremost, we're very honoured to be playing at such an iconic sporting venue throughout the world, not just here in Australia, it's, it's well renowned throughout the world of sport. So for us, as a football club, you know, brings together, as I said, two iconic, you know, a stadium and a, and a football club, which are second to none worldwide. So, uh, so for us, as I said, it's, it's a great honour to, to play there. And as you say, for it to, to be sold out is, is remarkable, really. But it, again, it doesn't surprise me because the, the support for this football club, it, it really is worldwide. And it, it's very humbling as a manager. You know, when you, you travel so far away from home, yet you arrive in places like Jakarta and, and, and here in Melbourne, and we've only been here a few hours, and you actually feel like you're at home. So it's, as I said, it's great for us, and, and I'm really looking forward to being here in the city. You know, Melbourne's a, a wonderful city. You know, you've got over five million people here, which is probably more than where I'm from back in Ireland <laughs> as a whole. So, but uh, we're really looking forward to the whole experience of Melbourne and Australia and uh, that'll culminate within the, for, you know, at the game on, on Wednesday.